What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. We're officially one month away from the production starting out in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Shout out to you Craven Something Scary because I saw your video. You brought this to my attention. So I wanted to give you some shout outs really quick before I jumped into it. This is Nev Campbell's upcoming convention schedule for this summer. And it looks like she has a lot of wide open spaces for an opportunity left open between these appearances in accordance to giving her time to appear possibly in scream six this doesn't mean that she's going to be in the film or anything like that that of course wouldn't be confirmed until nev herself either states it or until we get the official press release from all the other outlets announcing it but it looks like she has an appearance on june 3rd something on july 8th and something on august 12th now the film itself is supposed to shoot from june 6th uh, through August and those gaps in between these appearances gives her time to go to the set and shoot a movie shoot whatever scenes they need out of her and go home uh, it looks like that's why it's spaced out like that that's of course what we would think because of how we are hoping she's involved in the in the sixth movie I again it made it pretty clear being a big fan of this character Sydney Prescott she doesn't just need to be in a screen movie just to be in a screen movie she's more than just a box office attraction this character has always had a purpose in the movies I would rather her just sit it out if you don't have something strong enough that justifies her presence especially if you haven't constructed a narrative in which she has developed some type of relationship or interest in these new characters specifically the carpenters uh or if there's been like something that hasn't progressed involving her and gail like if you can sell me on a storyline about how her and gail became closer over dewey's death and i'm all for it if that's what ultimately gets her to get involved again because she wants to keep gail safe then i'm all for something like that but if you don't if you just have a sequence in the movie where it's if, if the movie plays out where it's clearly evident that Sydney and Gail haven't stayed in touch since Dewey's death and they're not that close and, you know, it's just been silence and then all of a sudden there's a phone call. Hey, Sydney, we need your help. And then, hey, I'll, I'll be there. Like, no, <laughs> that's not she's not Kim possible. Uh, she's not going to you're not going to call her, beep her if you want to reach her and all that stuff. No, <laughs> she she is Sydney Prescott. She has a purpose and you need to come up with something that is justifying her presence here i get that we would all love to see her in the movie but it's clear as day that every time she's been in these movies there's always been a good reason no matter if you might think some of them are stronger than others they've all been very strong reasons uh, so i would hate to just see her show up in scream six because of the fact that somebody asked her for help you mean it's not necessarily that far out of the realm of possibility. It's just that do it in a way in which it at least establishes that she had a relationship with these people prior to this. Because if she just given a random phone call and it's pretty clear based off of other prior events in the movie that she hasn't been in contact with the Carpenters or anything related to the Carpenters or Gail herself. And she just shows up. That's a little bit random. You can at least have her house be an opening attack sequence. Something that at least lets her have her own self-motivation and own self-interest in why she goes out to help people she hasn't been in touch with for however many years have passed between this movie and the last one. Dewey and his demise in the fifth one was, the, was a very strong reason to have her return in screen five especially considering the narrative that we were presented with that didn't really revolve around anything related to another sydney prescott long dark secret connected to her mother or anything about becoming sydney prescott or anything about being jealous of sydney prescott and her stardom that she herself didn't always want i don't really think she wants it now she's kind of like just learned to embrace it and use it to her advantage in a way so you know there's always been a justifiable reason that rooted that was rooted in why she was our final girl why she was in the movie given that they have passed it over to sam don't bring back the old just to propel your new up ahead like don't use her as a crutch let this girl stand on her own if sam is who we are going to be dealing with let sam be sam her sister tara can be there for her if you need a crutch or something like that matter of fact just let them both share the lead or something like i know some of you would rather see sam and tara share that share that lead be co-leads but it was nice to see that video from you uh craving something scary because that was a nice little thing to kind of say could be a hint at why her why there are these gaps in between 
her upcoming convention dates. Now, again, I don't know how long those dates have been set. Um, I don't recall you mentioning that in your video because they could have had this set like this for quite a while. But again, it could have all been orchestrated in a way to at least give her some give her recognition in the fact that she might want to participate in scream six and that's why they have these gaps in between them like that i do now want to talk about the stuff that was on letterbox the cast rumors now of course letterbox i can easily go on there edit something just like you can imdb uh wikipedia that type of stuff but it's just again fun things to talk about until we get the official casting list these aren't official by any means but everyone pretty much knows what letterbox looks like i know i made a post this morning on twitter and it garnered a lot of attention you know i would have thought that most people would have known what letterbox is like and i thought most people would have also read what i put and there was nothing there that said it was confirmed but gail weathers is listed here portrayed by again courtney cox anya taylor joy is listed here playing a character named wendy graham hayden pantier of course playing kirby reed israel browser playing or Broussard playing Henry Domas, Melissa Barrera, Sam Carpenter, Mason Gooding, Chad Meese Martin, and Roger L. Jackson as the voice. Now, of course, people pointed out, where's where's Jasmine? Where's Jenna? Where is Patrick Dempsey? You know, all these other things that people are thinking about. Where's Heather? Um, where's Nev Campbell? Again, this is on Letterbox. Now, with the whole Wendy Graham thing for Anya Taylor-Joy, I would love to see her in the movie. And the fact that they put Wendy Graham, you know, that might just be them playing off of Heather Graham's character in Stab. And I think that would be a cool thing to see. Let's just pretend for a second. You get the opening kill sequence from Anya Taylor-Joy, who is the relative of one of the, sta one of the Stab cast members. Uh, Heather Graham's sister, let's say, is the opening kill of Scream 6. For whatever reason, not Heather Graham herself, just relatives of the Stab cast are being ta targeted. Relatives of previous Stab movies steep previous stab cast members in previous stab movies are being targeted for whatever reason if that's the idea they were going off of when they put that together that's a nice little cool list of cast members they put together but again it's not confirmed and if Anya Taylor Joy is in the movie I'll be very surprised I'll be very surprised probably more so than if Hayden is in the movie um, given the stuff that I know uh, Anya has liked to have in her resume over the recent years but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you can never miss a video in the description I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or if you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys I will see you in the next video